Hello and welcome to another episode of my narrated rolling. Um, this particular one will be a little bit different. I'm going to sort of uh, review, just I give you a sneak review of this uh, tutorial that I just downloaded by Raul Audho, as you can see here. I hope I pronounced his name right. Sorry, Raul. Let's just call him Raul, okay? And Raul's uh, DVD really piqued my interest because he were kind of um, had a little bit of a viral success with competition footage that he posted and Pritt posted and it showed all the positions that Pritt Mikkelsen has been teaching his defensive BJJ techniques. Uh, you can see it here actually, if you go to YouTube and go to defensive BJJ and you, uh, you'll find it on there but if you also type in Raul's name You'll see him doing things like this, turtling, and then from the turtle, he does things like bursting out of it and starts attacking the legs, which is insane. I mean, <laughs> and he does this throughout the video. Go and watch it. I'll post a link on, on my clip as well and on my review. Um, and, you know, he just... He has, it says here, seven matches, seven wins by submission, no points conceded. And it, it's quite crazy. I mean, he's just, <laughs> he's doing all these things like, tur mainly turtling, but he does variations of turtles. Um, and it's not like these guys are, are nothing. These are advanced. This is the advanced division, I believe, at grappling industries. So, you know, they're all experienced grapplers. And he's just, <laughs> look at him shuffling along. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, as soon as I saw this clip, I thought, i got to learn me some of that shit. So anyway, uh, go on to YouTube, watch Raul do this. And, you'll, and if you're a, a fan of Pritt's defensive BJJ work, for me, this is, the, this is like the next stage. This is the next thing to do if you're, if you're very well practiced with all his turtle, panda, hawking, all that sort of stuff. Then the stuff Raul is showing here. This is the stuff that you need to, I find, is a perfect complement to the defensive side. So you have attack and defense. So um, now he's actually handling, he's just released this instructional here, which I just showed you earlier. And it's brilliant. Uh, he, goes, he goes through, if you, I'm not going to play you the clips because you're going to have to buy it. It's only $40. Uh, I mean, it's really, if you're, again, like I say, if you're familiar with the, the Pritt system, you will you will find a huge benefit in this in this stuff. So uh, Raul goes through all the basic postures. Remember, it's all about the turtles, so he won't be talking about hawking, um, or, or he won't be talking about baby bridge, but it's all the turtle, not, not just the, the, jet, the turtle that we know with our head down onto the ground, but he has things like the Buddha turtle, which is a bit different, and his seated turtle is also very different. Um, the flip turtle is just, um, is just the grilled chicken, and the stagger turtle is running man. I know why he's done that. I, he doesn't say, but I know why Raul's done that. He has called them all after the turtle. So it's the something thunk turtle. So there's something turtle here, something turtle. And what this does is it reminds you, the user, that everything you do is based around the principles of the turtle. It's not a guard, it's a defensive posture. So you keep your elbows in tight. You do not let go of your elbows, uh, leave a gap between your elbows and your ribs. And you keep your chin tucked in, ideally hunched towards one shoulder. He calls it the boxer shoulder, same as Pritt. And crucially, once you have that, uh, that, those principles uh, into your system, you can then start looking for attacks. And this chapter here, chapter 13, is the key chapter for... Uh, understanding how to move from defense into attack. Um, I won't, as I say, I won't play, you're gonna have to watch it, but you can just see a sneak preview um, of him. Don't lean and let go. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll turn the sound down, but um, essentially what he does, it, it, <laughs> for an old geezer like me, these subtitles, I, I can't turn them off, and actually they're very handy. I, I like that they have subtitles. It's almost like you're learning in two ways, you're reading, you're hearing, and you're watching. So you can't really forget what he's doing here. Uh, anyway, go buy it, go have a look. As I say, if you're a fan of Pritt's work, this is the perfect complement uh, to, to your developing, growing 
arsenal. That being said, I watched the whole thing, all, all these techniques. I sort of drilled them at home and I was so excited. I went straight to my friend's uh, basement dojo to see what I could try and use without any drilling, any uh, aforementioned practice. I just went in there with, to try to remember as much as I can. And this is, this is how I did on my first session. Okay, now that we've had uh, a look, little look at the inspiration for today's narrated footage, uh, I'm moving on to my actual narrated footage, and here I am with a role with Jason. And uh, I'm trying to incorporate as many of Raul's uh, tips on attacking from the turtle that I can into all the roles that I'm doing. So we have about, when we meet, we have, uh, we have three minute roles, um, and um, they last for uh, in the duration of an hour. So we try and get many roles in as we can. Anyway, let's move on to. So the first thing I'm trying to do is look for the gap here between uh, his armpit and his uh, hip line. That's the thing that Raul is very, very keen to stress in his videos. It's like the common theme. So here uh, you can see my legs and it's a pretty poor attempt at trying to do something from there. Okay, so I'll just rewind that and I'll show you what I did. <laughs> you can see my uh, pathetic attempt. Right, so so I've exploited the, the gap that I'm talking about that Raul talks about is here and here, this line here. That's your attacking error. Once, once your um, training partner or your opponent uh, um, takes their elbow away from their sides, and leaves a gap in this area here, then you can exploit it and you have to fill that gap with a part of your body. Now, um, there are several techniques and tactics that Raul uses, but what he does uh, quite often throughout his series is to fill it by using this sort of, see what I'm doing, I'm wedging my shin here along this line here. And what I fail to do, which bear in mind this is the very first time I've tried to use his, his techniques is the next stage. So it's, it's like a, a, a three-step process. The first step is you have to open the gap here. The next step is to insert the wedge, uh, which would be a part of your body. He uses his shoulder, he uses his shin, his foot, his arms, you know, it, whatever works, which I've done successfully here. And then the third stage would be to, not quite a sweep, but you have to unbalance your opponent before you start attacking. And I don't do that here. Uh, and in this case, I, I can see now, having referred to his videos, he would probably just try and shove, um, I, would probably, I should have shoved Jason, you know, back onto his bum or out towards the wall. You know, so, so, he just, so he's just unbalanced and he flops to one side, but I don't quite do that here. So uh, I've opted to try and go for an armbar and Jason easily escapes because he's in good posture. So that's an example of uh, how I kind of fail to spot to for, to carry on with Raoul's uh, advice to its f full, but it's a good start in that I did at least recognise that there was a space there, and I inserted a wedge to try and exploit that space. So that's a good start. Uh, we're going to look at uh, anyway throughout the rest of the the evening, <laughs> I I failed time and time again because you know what it's like. You get a new video, you, you watch a new video, you watch a new DVD. And uh, I must admit, I never drill them in advance. I just turn up to training and I just want to use them straight away. So it really is depending on what, how much I can remember, remember. Luckily, Raul explains those techniques very, very well. The actual principles are very simple, but trying to execute them is hard because you're looking for quite small opportunities and you're starting from a very defensive situation, which is the turtle or variations of the turtle. Anyway, I'm, I'm sort of waffling. Uh, let's look at another video where I'm a little bit more successful. Okay, so we're on to uh, a different role, again with Jason. And um, this is much later in the evening where I think by then I've got a bit more confident with using some of Raoul's slightly unorthodox interpretations of Preet's defensive postures. And, and the one that I'm using here is called Buddha Turtle. And this is where he sits kind of like a lotus position but it's not quite a full lotus but i found it pretty easy to do and, and really useful look see what i'm doing there with my, my legs there 
That's what Raul does. And um, it's really weird because you'd think you'd be unstable, but once I put my head down to the ground, uh, it's actually quite fun to use and you, you can exploit a lot of openings from there. So here I am, Jason's putting his weight on, putting his pressure on me, and I switch to Running Man, which is some, and immediately I exploit the gap here. So uh, we'll look at that in a minute, but we'll watch the whole thing before I stop it and start it. So that was a nice sequence. I, I managed to unbalance him, exp, um, create a wedge, unbalance him, and ex, I'm trying to seek the attack. You can see, because Jason's foot there is wedged on my uh, leg there, I can't get it free, but normally I would attack for the leg, uh, Jason's leg. It's a nice little sequence. Um, so I'm trapped there for a little bit, but I've still got a wedge there. I don't have the wedge now. and uh, I think I'm trying to pivot and turn to attack the legs, but it's not very wise because I see Jason's putting his weight on my, on my other foot. Here's another wedge. Here's a, here's a number. It's a full sweep, and I at least get up on top. So that's a nice sequence that's well worth looking again because <clears throat> I think it's one of the rare few examples in this evening's session where I managed to succeed at least with using most of what Raul teaches in his tutorial. Uh, and let's have a look again. So, so the first stage is I used uh, Buddha Turtle. <laughs> I love the name. And uh, Buddha Turtle is a great place for which to transition to other of another one of the defensive positions. And Raul shows a whole series of drills where he, where he um, uh, transitions to uh, quite popular one is transitioning to Running Man, which is what I do here. And from Running Man, I can just roll backwards. And by rolling backwards, I insert a wedge here, which opens up, the, as you can see, it opens up his, his gap between his uh, elbow and his hip line. And I've also underhooked his leg. So you know I'm going to go for a, a, a leg attack. It's, it seems to be fashioning towards that way. And I keep the wedge there. But crucially, I've, I've unbalanced Jason. See how he's leaning backwards towards the wall. He's trying to correct his balance, but I, I'm kind of moving my base. Uh, rather annoyingly, Jason's got his, his shin hooked over my, my uh, right leg here, so I can't free it. My aim really is to attack this leg here. I, I want to get that as for a toe hold or a heel hook or, or something. But I need that, that right leg free. But, but it's, you know, it's not really worrying me. What I need to do, what, what I then have in my head is to try and create a bit more of a pendulum action with this leg here to sweep. I now realize I need to unbalance Jason in order to exploit these gaps. I can't just go for it. Here we go. Here's the sweep. And I got out of trouble as well because you saw Jason's fashioning for some sort of foot attack there. And then we carry on pretty much like, like we normally do. I'm on top, he's on bottom, I have to pass his guard, um, and blah, blah. So in that respect, I think that was a nice example. I'm going to look at one more. <laughs> As I say, there are more videos. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> there are more uh, videos um, of our uh, sparring, but I'm not going to narrate those because I failed so badly to incorporate and to utilize Raul's tips there but that was a good one I'm going to show you one more where I do at least uh, carry on the success of the previous role and use some of Raul's techniques here so we're on to uh, a role here with with my friend Gosha and in this one uh, I'm trying to again use some of the more unorthodox uh, positions, defensive BJJ positions that Raul teaches in his video. Uh, we'll, we'll start from here where I'm in turtle, head on the ground, fairly traditional, I say traditional, but it's it's fairly basic, fundamental turtle position. I probably arguably could do a bit better with with popping my elbow out and, and, and closing that hip line, but I don't feel I'm under threat, so I'm a bit lazy there. Uh, I'm more concerned with grip fighting in this region here, as, as Gosha is trying to rip my head off. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm basically preventing her from doing that with my grip fight. So I kind of do a windshield wiper here, and then I, I think, yeah, that's it. I sit in this Buddha turtle position, and I'm quite surprised at my own flexibility here. 
partially aided by Gosh's weight on my uh, head, but I'm able to touch my forehead to the ground. I go to Running Man, back to Turtle. It's a nice little sequence here. And again, it's all defending. Um, this I'm trying to do. Uh, here we go. I'm trying to do uh, his uh, Raul's uh, seated turtle. And he does things quite differently here. This is this is a, a Raul speciality where he. I'll describe the position in a minute, but I, d I didn't have too much success with it during the whole evening. This is the only time where I used it, and I felt I was using it correctly. It takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, it's a bit of a strange one. Uh, and then we just progress to just regular leg entanglement, leg locks. So I will, I'm going to rewind back to the bit where I wanted to talk about where I use that. So let me try and describe what's happening here. This, this isn't anything. This is just seated there. It's when I put my hand behind me as a prop. It's very Ryan Hall in terms of the language used by Raul. Well, we have to, I haven't done it great there, but what Raoul suggests is that you create this line along your shoulder, wherever the force is uh, being applied. Oh, I'll get my pen out. Whenever, you can see Gosha applying the force in this direction here, not just downwards, but uh, towards the camera, yeah? I need to place a prop in that direction here. So my hand should be here. Uh, as you can see, it's not, but I do correct myself in a minute. So when you've got shoulder, arm, hand here, you create a very strong structural platform. Uh, what you can't see is on the other side, as my right elbow is in traditional turtle fashion, is tucked in very tightly against my hip, and my right knee is up and my foot on the ground. So it's a bit like combat base, except for it's not combat base. It's, it's, it's like turtle, but I'm sitting down and I just have to have one arm propped behind me to stop Gosha collapsing me here. Yeah, and I'm, I, what I need to do is use that against her and really push against her. But I was a bit passive with it. So I collapsed. There you go. I collapsed and just reverted to, I don't know what I was doing. Oh, yes, I've got a hook. So I was trying to get a leg lock. So that's all I wanted to show you, really. Just a quick uh, sort of first dip in the, dip in the, toe in the water at Raul's, Raul's um, techniques. As I say, go to his, oh, I've lost it, go to his uh, we uh, website and you will be able to, I'll put the link in the description and you will be able to learn some more nuance and variance to the stuff that Preet's been showing. I also recommend you check it out, it's, uh, I, think, I think it's all great and I'm going to carry on using both Preet's side for the defensive stuff and right all side to try and work my counter attacks and attacks that's all for now anyway thanks for watching and catch you later bye bye